All right, honey, tell truck drivers and people coming into the industry on what goes on when you want to become an owner operator and get in your own truck to do what you love to do. You tell them what? Where do we go to get our truck? First, we went to Arrow Truck Sales. Arrow Truck Sales was a bummer because um, the salesman was really laid back. Um, We're not going to mention his name. He was really laid back and he wasn't like helpful at all. Very he, he really gave me the impression that he didn't want to sell me the truck. So... I just told him that we're done. You don't want to sell me a truck? I have good credit. I mean, I have over 700 um, credit score. And um, he didn't want to sell me a truck. Best impression I got. So I let him know that I felt uncomfortable and he didn't change his tune or anything. So. And then after all of the paperwork that we did, submitted everything, and he's like, oh, it's okay, it's good, and we're waiting for days, we're out here working, working for days, and nothing ever came back of it. So, so we got rid of him. <laughs> so, then I decided to uh, go with um, Lone Mountain. Lone Mountain. Out of... Um, Tifton, Georgia. Tifton, Georgia. Well, actually, uh, Lone Mountain, my Lone Mountain, uh, um, the guy that, um, what they call them, loan officers, my loan officer came out of uh, Nevada. And he was really, he was like. Chad. Yeah, Chad. he was head on. Shout out, Chad. Chad. He was head on. I mean, they did, they asked us. The criteria was that, well, of course, you had to have the driving time. Um, we first had to get hired on on at uh, Landstar here. We After Landstar pre-qualified us, then we qualified for the truck. Right. So, um, along with that, with the pre-qualification... After that, um, what happened after the pre-qualification? After we, after we got pre-qualified for the truck, after we last started, you get pre-qualified first. Then it goes through the process of going to Landstar with all that paperwork and all that information. I mean, with the Long Mountain application. Oh, oh, remember we had to go to the bank? Oh, we had to go to the bank we first, y'all. We had to go to the bank and prove... And show your bank statement, show your uh, money in the bank. That we had money, in the, money in the bank, so if the truck break down after they um, sell it to you, I mean, yeah. after they finance it, can you cover. actually um, fix it if it fix break it. down? Right. So you kind of got to have some money still in the bank still after. The bank. But... Prior to that, we paid um, eighty six hundred down, eight thousand six, eight thousand sixty eight hundred. Oh 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 six thousand eight hundred. Sixty eight hundred. That's right. I'm sorry. Sixty eight hundred mm -hmm. on the truck mm -hmm. as a down payment. As a down payment. After we paid that sixty eight hundred dollars, and then we went. We went out to Tifton. We went out to Tifton. Well, after the 6800, we, we actually still had to prove that we had about 
Well, we had about 8,000. At least about 10,000. About 10,000 in the bank. Mm -hmm. So you know that you can back it up. So you know, so you, know you can back it up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So where was that? Where was we at? We was in... We did all that. We were in... We was doing a little one. Yeah, we was on a low. We were still with our own comp other company. We maintained our job until um, actually Land Landstar made us quit because yep. Landstar needed from our other job that we was currently working with from our other trucker company we was working with. They needed to know that we could get released from them. So we had to contact Landstar back our recruiter or our um administrator our the one that was doing the one a uh, processor the processor had to know that we were actually released from the other company from the other company before they would pre-qualify us yep. so we had to drive all take that truck we live close to philadelphia so we had to take that truck all the way back drive all the Dead way back head. Deadhead from Pennsylvania to Illinois, to Illinois, deadhead, drop the truck off, drop the truck off, and then we're ready to go. With the inspection, they didn't care about the inspection, so we was ready to go. So other things happened where the guy was like, well, I can't drive the truck. Can you go around and over here and follow me so I can, so I can drop it off? So being us that we're professionals, okay, we'll go ahead and drop it off. We dropped it off, and after we dropped it off, we already had our rental car in the process, which was going to take that down to Georgia so we can go and pick up our own truck in Tifton, Georgia. So it's a long process. It's very long, very, very long. What I'm trying to tell you guys is it's not hard. It's not hard. You just have to stay on your paperwork and everything. You have to, uh, I had to stay on the lady at Landstar with the application. I mean, you got to stay on every sheet that, I mean, the processor we had. They're very, they're, they're slow. They understand what's going on, but they're slow, so you have to keep up with everything that they do and everything that you submit. Make sure that your drug test is very accurate. Any discrepancies, you have to, because they held us up another week just with the drug test. Um, they lost the drug test. And I heard another driver say that they lost theirs too. So when you take that drug test, uh, that that process, I wouldn't even leave home until you get your drug test back and make sure that, you know, that they have it and it's all good. I wouldn't even leave home until you actually take the drug test because once you take it and you go through orientation, then you find out you got to take it again. They, you're sitting they there waiting. Lost sitting there it or waiting. something. You're sitting there waiting. And you're sitting there waiting. So there it waiting. held us up another, um, like, three, four days. Mm -hmm. Another three days. So that's another thing you got to look out for. That's why you want to go to Landstar, just have all your things your paperwork. in order. Have it in order. And even still in order, it's still going to take some time. So have your money backed up. Have your money, up. Have your money, up. your tax ID, have your um, twenty two ninety nine. Ninety nine, have that. Yeah. Um. That that will speed up the process. It will speed up the process. It will speed up the process. If you got all your all your ducks in order, how we say? Take all your, your drug test at home first. Make sure that they have that back before you leave the house because that held a, that and and those hotels aren't cheap and they I mean even fifty five dollars a day will still add up. 
So, and we've been doing this for about, I'm going to say about three and a half weeks. About three and a half weeks. And we three just and ran weeks. our first load yesterday. And just ran our first load yesterday. And that's something else we're going to come back with with that. So from here, this is Redbone 1. Redbone 2. <laughs> we out.